April is Donate Life Month. It's a way to thank organ donors and spread awareness about the importance of becoming one. And one man in Luzerne County has dedicated his life to that and not just the month of April. Newswatch 16's Ali Gallo here to share his story. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, Mindy and John. So Keith Chalmers turned 70 recently. It's a day he never thought he'd see. Nine years ago, almost to the day, he got his second chance at life when he received a double lung transplant. And now he says it is his mission to get others to become donors too. Yes, it's so good because <laughs> there was a time when I couldn't do that. It isn't hard to tell which house is Keith Chalmers here in Wilkesbury. Gift of Life signs proudly displayed in his yard. He says he kissed these very sidewalks nine years ago when he got home from the hospital. I've heard a lot of excuses why people don't want to become organ donors. You know, uh, I'm taking these organs with me. No, you're not taking them anywhere, you know. Uh, um, you may be able to save someone's life. For Chalmers, an organ donor saved his life. On March 12, 2015, he was accepted into the lung transplant program and was put on the list. Exactly two weeks later, on March 29th, Chalmers received a double lung transplant. Now he wants to inspire others to become organ donors too. I am uh, an ambassador for Gift of Life. Uh, I go out and I speak, just like I'm doing here, you know, and uh, I give back freely what was so freely given to me. Every Friday this month, Chalmers will be at Geisinger, Wyoming Valley, raising awareness for Donate Life Month. And during his work with Gift of Life, Chalmers met the Burace family. People in the organ transplant community are starting to, to hear about us and, and know we're a resource for them. Uh, so the money we raise all all goes back into our community. Scranton native Cody Burace was 22 years old when he died from a head injury after getting hit by a car in 2013. Since then, his family has made it their mission to turn their tragedy into an inspiring energy to encourage and support organ donation. The Cody Barace Foundation has helped more than 60 families here in Pennsylvania, and Keith Chalmers is one of them. The foundation has given him $10,000 to help with his medical bills and costs associated with getting to his doctor's appointments in Philadelphia. Your small sacrifice helps save so many lives. You take a look at my brother, he was able to affect nine lives with his solid organs and countless more with his uh, tissues and corneas. And I met with Keith just a few days ago to do that interview. We did it on the ninth anniversary of his surgery at the exact time he went in for it. He said there is no better way to celebrate that anniversary of a second chance than to share his story about why it is so important to become an or organ donor. And John and Mindy, we do have information about how you can register to become one on WNEP.com. Wow, such a great story, Allie. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, he's so inspiring.